This question is for all my entrepreneurs out there. When you get paid from your business, when you make a sale or you translate a transaction into actual cash, what is the first thing you do with that money when it hits your bank account? Let me know below in the comments what your routine or what your habits are when you first receive money in your bank account from a sale or transaction from your business. Go ahead, I'm waiting. Let's be for real. If you like most people, even like me before two years ago, and I've been in business for way longer than that, you probably don't have a routine or budget habit in place at all, but it's cool. That's why I'm here. Putting a business budget routine in place can dramatically help save your business. The business budget routine is based on all income into the business, okay? Not just net profits, all income, every single dollar that comes into the business, you need to be allocating to the correct spot and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. It can help you identify when it's time to cut back. It can help you identify when you have an influx of cash and maybe it's time to scale, you know, put on that new marketing channel you just thought about, buy something for the office, whatever the case may be, but you will know how much money you have to allocate towards that. Are you gonna make payroll this month? Are you short payroll by 10,000? You need to know these things and that's where a business budget routine comes into place. Top of the top, everybody. It's your boy Show tapping in. And today I'm going to run y'all through my business budget routine, why that works for us, and why you should put a budget routine in place as well. Doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but if you don't have a plan for your money, you out here playing with your money. Let's talk about it. So, a business budget routine is basically how you disperse the funds that you make after you receive the money. All right. So how do you break down those funds? What goes where? How much goes where? And how do you determine that? So this right here is my personal business budget routine that we run here in my real estate company. We'll just use a hundred thousand dollars as the example for this video. Okay. Just to make it really simple and really clean for you guys. So the first 38% we put into the operations. This is everything that helps our business work, okay? Including marketing, contract labor, um, office expenses, all those type of things, all right? That's what goes into operations. So that lets us know that if we have a $100,000 a month, if that is our average, then we know we need to keep all of our monthly expenses under $38,000 a month. If we're spending more than we're putting into this account, then we're allotting for our operations, then we know it's time to scale back. Next 35% is for compensation, all right? So this is including the owner's compensation as well as anybody that we have on salary. For us, we have a lot of people who work virtually. We count that as contract labor and that's part of our operations. But for the owners and the people we have on salary, the 35% compensation is for us. Our team members, their salaries are fixed, all right? So they know how much they're gonna make and then they also get bonuses and commission based on performance. But for the owners, we know how much we want to take home every month. Using that $100,000 idea, if we know all of payroll is $35,000 a month, but we didn't make $100,000 last month, we're going to be in trouble. Okay? Next, 12% off the top goes to what we call our war chest, all right? So this is pretty much just our savings account. We put this to the side for a rainy day. We save 12% of everything, and that is strictly for a savings account. Actually have that in a bank that has no debit card or we have no credit card for, we generally have to go to this bank to make deposits and withdrawals. We try to make it hard so that way we don't go and touch that money unless we really, really have to. In that case, we will be at war. We will be in a wartime circumstance if we get to the point where we have to touch our savings and that's why we call it a war chest. We don't wanna have to touch it, but if we got to, we can win the war. And 10% for taxes, all right? Off the top, we save 10% of everything we make and put that towards taxes. We pay our taxes at the end of the year. That liability falls on the owners uh, because of the way that we pay ourselves and because of the way our business entity is set up. But what we do is we stack that money up all year. And then when we file our personal taxes, whatever our tax liability is based on our tax bracket, then we just use the money in our business tax account to pay those liabilities 
for us individually. But do not play when it comes to taxes, okay? The time is going to come where you have to pay. I know some people like to get on payment plans and things like that, but stay ahead of that, all right? Uncle Sam is not gonna play. You already have enough stresses and roadblocks and things going on in your business. The last person you want on your line or sending you letters is Uncle Sam. Pay that man, 10% off top. Sometimes, at the end of the year, 10% is more than we even needed to save. So not only can we pay our taxes in full, but we get to take home a couple racks. Make sure you put up that 10% dog. Last but not least, that last little 5% we put in what we call a profit account. That is strictly for the owners. We split that profit every three months. We don't take it monthly. We don't take it bi-monthly. We take it quarterly. Every three months, we take from this profit account. Using that $100,000 method we talked about earlier, if we make $100,000 a month for three months consistently in a quarter, that would mean we have $15,000 in our profit account that me and my business partner are going to split, all right? So that's $7,500 every quarter that we pay ourselves as an automatic bonus. That's pretty lovely, right? You can do the same thing if you put your money where it needs to go. This is exactly why you need to have a business budget routine and stick to this. Without a routine, people tend to just roam. And when you roam, you get lost. Don't get lost in the sauce, man. Get a business budget routine in place ASAP. You got any value at all from this video, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend so we can keep growing, all right? Everybody can win. Tap in.